watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller and this quick tip video is on 3D complex curves by virtue of creating them using the projected command to intersect two different curves from an orthogonal direction to create one new curve. So where we might want to do this is at the very end of springs. If we look at a spring that has a curve for a rod end to go through it you can see we have the curvature from straight down the spring and we have the curvature from the side section view of the spring so what we're really doing is adding this curved piece onto the spring after the helix is created so there's a variety of models that we can use this functionality for besides springs. This is really the beginning of how you would model something like a complex shape like a shoe and capture all the curvature created to create things like these top curves from orthogonal curves that intersect. So let's go ahead and show you how we can do this. First off I'm just starting with a standard helical path here that's been created with the helix spiral command inside of SOLIDWORKS. Then what I've done is I've gone in to the very end where the spring started and just created what I'm going to intersect in as an arc. So the size of this arc is the same size of the spring. Next I go in, let me go ahead and turn that on for you too so you can see that sketch. Next I go in and I create this other sketch. This other sketch is created on the right plane. The right plane goes right through the middle and the revolves stop right in the middle. So there's a couple things to help you where you can keep oriented for where the sketches start. So I'm going to go ahead and, and edit this sketch and just show you. This is placed on the end and pierced on the end of the helical curve, but it's the radius that the rod end that would sit in the back of this would go. So with that being made you can take these two curves and project them together to make one. Let's see how we do this. We go in and use the insert curve projected command and we use the sketch on sketch way of projected and we can go ahead and pick the sketches that we want to project and it creates that new projection right where I need it. Now let's go ahead and OK this and just go in and show just to make sure that you understand how this was really put together. It was a combination of these two projected curves. If I went in and looked at one of these projected curves and changed the size of this projected curve and made it much smaller you're gonna see that this other curve now doesn't meet the end. So it's the size of this curve being the same exact size as my other curves that's going to make this come to the right very end in there. Too big and it goes too far out. Too small and it comes too far in. So if we just make it the same exact size you're going to see that curve fall right into the end there. So from there we could go in and create a composite curve out of these and go ahead and sweep this. And now we can sweep without using any sketch for the profile. Tell it the size that I want and then the composite curve for the profile and you'll see that sweep and get that bent in from the two different orthogonal curves intersection. Let's take a look at where this really helps for a surfaced part. In the shoe, if I go back and look at where the curves there were that were created this, first off generally we we like a footprint. So there's a footprint size for the, the length and the width of the sketch. And then we have these curves. That would be like the top curve from looking straight down at the shoe. And then we have the curve 
from looking at the side angle of the shoe. These two curves have been created and projected together. Let me go ahead and turn these on and show you. So these two curves have been created and projected together to create that outside curve. So this whole entire outside curve and the same for the other side. These two curves were projected to create this outside curve. So you can see in surface modeling curve projection through the insert curve projected curve and projecting two orthogonal curves together to create one complex 3D curve is a real simple method for creating complex 3D curves. Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer.